Good evening everyone. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. It's uh, September 8. Welcome to the Wednesday Upper Zoom Prayer Garden. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, Giselle. Okay. Magandang gabi po. Tita Faith and Tita Fepot. Ayan. Good evening, Anastasios. Good evening po. Good evening, Tita Josie. Good evening po. Good evening po, Pastor, at sa inyong lahat. Good evening, uh, Brother Shane, Brother Justin, and the Dangawens. Good evening. Okay, let's start with our uh, prayer request and uh, praise the port. Why don't we why don't we start with uh let's start with the Anastasios. Good evening, Anastasios. Good evening, Tita LB. Um nagpapasalamat po kami kay Lord. Kasi po uh kanina dapat po last day ko na kanina sa a substitution substitute sa Eagle Rock pero in extent po ako up to November 30. Mm -hmm. So nagpasalamat po kay Lord kasi continuous pa rin po. And um nagpapasalamat po kami kay Lord kasi uh, lahat ng uh, para sa lahat po ng blessing sa pagising sa umaga na maayos po kami lahat at walang mga may sakit. Mm -hmm. And ang um, prayer request lang po, Pastor, ano tanggalin, <laughs> pakitanggal po muna, Pastor, yung ano yung sa exam. Kasi uh, papapalitan ko po ng uh, magkaroon na ng opening na food service worker. Kasi sabi sa akin, kailangan kong mag-apply uh, ulit as current employee para makapag-take ng exam. Oh, okay. Kasi nag-expire po nung, nag-expire siya nung October daw. One year. Aking uh, in-exam nung last time. So, Opo. one year lang dapat. Opo. Kaya, eh kasi tinanggap po daw po yung substitute, kaya nawala daw bigla yung permanent ko. Dapat daw hindi ako tumanggap ng substitute, dapat nagpa-interview daw po ako as permanent, diretso na po. Oh. So, yun po pala yung ano nila, yung policy. Kaya, waiting po ako ngayon na magkaroon ng hiring ng food service worker na para makapag-take po ako ng exam. So, anong Pero continuous pa rin po. Ako na substitute, substitute, continuous pa rin po. So, tatanggalin ko. Alin po yung pastor? Tatanggalin ko yung request mo yan. Opo, ano na lang po, yung mag-hiring, an <laughs> Siguro ka din yun na lang po ilagay pa sa papray na lang po ng, na, na mag-hiring na lang po ulit na gano'n. Para ma-activate ko lang yun. Parang mag-ano lang po ulit. Oh, back, to nor, back to zero po ako eh. Patante na sa loob ka na. Opo, yun po. Yeah. Tsaka kahit paano po uh, may hulog na po. May yun po na naging maayos po ang lahat. At naiintindihan ko na rin po, tsaka mababait pa rin po yung mga kasama ko dito sa Eagle Rock. As in, hindi sila toxic kasama. Mababait po talaga silang lahat. Oh, Even a... the manager. Malaki blessing yun. Opo. Hmm. At tsaka, ah, isang prayer request po pala yung um, yung sa work ni Adri na yung plano ng boss niya na magtuloy-tuloy po yung para maging maganda yung ano sa kanila yung pagpasahod po sa kanila. Mm -hmm. Kasi on ano pa pa lang po eh, ini-meeting pa lang po. So sana po ma-approve ko. Yun lang po. 
Wow. Blessing na naman. All right. Thank, Thank you. you Meron, Meron siyang ano? So, wala daw po. Yun daw po. Copy paste. Okay. Thank you. So we have here, good evening. Uh, praise support po. Nakarating po sila Kuya and Ate Liana po dito sa LA ng SAFE. Prayer request naman po na mapasa ko po yung upcoming accounting midterm ko po with flying colors sa Tuesday po. Okay. So yan ay galing kay Sister Giselle. Okay, so ilagay natin dito eh, midterm exam. Giselle. So, Giselle. Midterm. Exams. Oh, hmm. Okay, so uh, next uh, would be a uh, good evening muna kay Tita LV, Tita Lenlen, and Vince. Sinong Vince? Good evening. Good evening po sa lahat. Ito ba ay Vince Mangubat or Vince uh, Nancy? <laughs> Kasi ang Vince natin eh. Alright. Good evening, Nicole. Pastor, it's Vince Mangubat. Okay, it's Vince. Okay. Kasi there's also a name Vince, si Tita Nancy. Okay, good evening, Nicole. Good evening, Sister Anna Lou. Uh, Brother Vince, good evening. Okay, next would be uh, Tita Josie. Tita Josie, pray support, pray request. <clears throat> ako din po, ano, papasalamat ako. Nakarating ng maayos dito si Laliana at uh, Jarel. Nasa ano sila ngayon? Nasa Valencia. Mm, okay. Um... Tsaka po yung ano, salamat po sa mga prayer ninyo. Yung kagalingan namin ni nanay, okay na po kami. Mm -hmm. Salamat po. Yun po ang akin prayer request. Ay, ang prayers, ang praise report ko po. Ang prayer request ko po ay uh, uh, pangunguna sa ating lahat. Saan man po tayo pumunta, lahat po tayo ingatan ng ating Panginoon. Mm -hmm. Yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Tita Josie. Okay, Brother Shane, praise report, prayer request. Nakamute ka ata, Maka, pakicheck baka nakamute. Okay, balikan natin si Shane mamaya. Justin, your turn. Good evening, Justin. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my praise report is... Uh... I was able to pass my uh, exams last Monday. And so far, I, my school is going okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, my uh, prayer request is uh, safe travels for my grandparents. Mm -hmm. Tell me back home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Dangawens. Your turn. Uh, Kuya Mani, Sister Janet. Ayan. Ayan. Magandang magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Praise God po for this. Um, for this day, for God's uh, faithfulness to each and everyone, yung kalakasan, yung pag-iingat, provision, and above all, yung presence po niya. So we praise God for His goodness every day. Nang po. Thank you. Uh, Kuya Mani, meron ka ba? Happy face. Happy face, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next would be uh, Tita LV. Good evening, Tita LV. Pwede ka ba, Tita LV? Ayan, Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga prayers nyo, sa mga pagsama po sa amin sa uh, yung pong ano ba? maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa mga nagpaabot ng prayers, nagpaabot ng kanilang mga uh, love sa aking uh, sa aming family. 
kami ina inapaabot po ng aking mga kapatid, ng aking fami- buong pamilya, ang buong pasasalamat po sa The Philness Family. Salamat po sa inyo, sa, salamat din po at kami nakarating ng maayos dito sa Pilipinas. Pero pag-pray nyo din po, pabalik, po ako na, pabalik na po kami next week. Except po kay Pastor Bert, uh, mag-stay po siya till December 5. So, yun po. At saka, praise report po kasi naghahanap po kami ng makakasama ni Mama since siya na lang pong mag-isa kasi para hindi po siya di po siya maging di, uh, maingatan po siya na mabuti. Nakakuha po kami kanina lang dumating po sa bahay. So, yun po. Yun po yung pinagpapray namin na ma- magiging kas- kasundo niya. So, hindi po, di na po kasi maiwanan si Mama, mama ko mag-isa. So, maraming salamat po. Yun po yun, na-answer po yung prayer namin. We were praying po yesterday na makakuha kami ng mag, magka-click sa kanya. Yun po. Salamat po sa Panginoon. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Tita LV. Uh, ingat kayo dyan. And uh, regards to kay uh, Pastor Bert. Yan. So, Apo, nandito po siya. Nandito po kami sa bank ngayon. Nandito po sa sa loob ng bank. So, oh, oh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy lang. Uh, Salamat po sa inyo yung lahat. Uh, you deserve the rest na kailangan nyo. Good evening, <laughs> Tita <laughs> Len Len. Tita Good evening. Good evening. Uh, praise report and uh, request. Praise report po every day is a blessing. Good, good or not good still a blessing to me because ang good answered prayer ka not good the best is yet to come Ganun. so every day is thank is a blessing and thanking amen ala ko ano eh every day every gising is a blessing naririnig ko yan eh <laughs> okay ala 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 uh, naririnig ko kasi madalas eh oh, sa kan narinig ko every every gising is a blessing uh, uso uh, uso at times sa Pilipinas eh anyway thank you Tita Len Len uh, good evening uh, uh, sister Anelu good evening po prayer request and praise report uh, katulad po ng sinabi ni sister Len Len every day is a blessing uh, nothing specific pero um y- yun po every day everything is a blessing and uh, uh prayer request provision po and guidance mm-hmm. yun lang po amen thank you thank you sister Analu uh all right let's go now to uh Vince, good evening. Do you have a prayer request? Praise support? Unmute yourself. There you go. E- uh, evening, guys. Um, praise report that I passed. Um, uh, when was it? Monday. Had a nine mile hike with a 70 pound pack, and I passed. Oh, my goodness. And then, How many pounds? Uh, 70. 70. Oh, and then carrying a one, uh, it, it is like carrying a one young lady, 70 pounds, something like that. Yeah, for nine miles, it's yeah, hard for, for nine miles. Yes, wow. <laughs> and then I have another physical exam tomorrow, just praying that I could pass that one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, you will pass it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vince. Uh, oh, kaya niyo ba yun? Nine miles. Tapos magbubuat kayo ng 70 pounds. <laughs> Ang bigat nun. <laughs> Baka nga half mile, di ko pa kayaanin yun eh. Anyway, uh, good evening, good evening. Uh, Shane, Brother Shane, good evening. Praise report and prayer request. Ah, good evening po. Um, I just want to praise the Lord po for providing for us. And... Uh, and though uh, we don't have a job, um, he, hindi ko alam kung saan lang gagaling kung mga blessings na binibigay niya. But he gave us a bank full of blessings. Po. And 
we're able to do whatever we want. And um, also, oh, um, I would like to ask for prayers for good health. Me and Shaylee and um, Almira, I kind of sick. So um, hopefully this virus is going to go away. Um, before my trip on Sunday to the Philippines, I would like to ask for my safety for um, for this trip to come back here after, after like a week and a half. That's all, Paul. Okay, Paul. Oh, okay. So we got in. Yes, Paul. Um, sa Sunday ng gabi po, tapos balik po dito sa times giving day. Oh, okay. Good Islam. Okay. Thank you, Brother Shane. Uh, let's pray for you. Thank you. Sa pag-uwi mo. Uh, and, uh, good evening, Nicole. Pray support and prayer request. Uh, Nicole? Okay, balikan natin si Nicole. All right. Uh, oh. Hello? Hello po. Ayun, ayun. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, ano po, I had an exam last week din po and then pumasa and prayer request school. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Nicole. So... Lagay ko lang dito, safe travel sa mga Acostas at saka kay Shane. Alright. And, uh, yan. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go now. Thank you, Nicole. Let's go now to Tita Pepot. Pray support and prayer request, Tita Pepot. Uh, good evening po sa lahat. Good evening. Uh, praise support. Uh, I just thank God every day pinag inaalagaan, uh, pinag-cover si Tep-Tep ng Lord sa pag-uwi niya kasi dumarating siya rito 10.30 eh, ng gabi. 9.30 ang labas niya doon. So, protection na binibigay sa kanya ni Lord. At saka kay Hazel din po, Pastor, tunod, marami po siyang projects ngayon, mga commercial, natatapos niya lang kagabi ng isang commercial. So, I thank God for the project, sa mga blessings sa kanila, at saka protection din po sa amin ni Faith. Sila Faith sa pagpasok-pasok nila sa umaga, uh, iniingatan po sila si, si, si CJ at saka si Pastor Ray. Yun lamang po. Thank, thank you. Thank you, si Tita. Uh, good evening, Tita Fe. Good, uh, good evening po, Pastor. At uh, saka ang lahat. Uh, pray support po and pray request. Sa akin, Pastor? Paganda kayo ng paganda araw-araw, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, I praise the Lord dahil hindi niya ako pinababayaan. Meron akong mga kaibigan, godly people like you and the other members of the church. They are a gift to my life. Amen. I praise God for that. And it makes me feel good because I have loved ones, you know, kahit na hindi blood related, but yet we are spirit, spiritually related to one another. And we bless one another. God uses us as blessings to one another. I praise God for his faithfulness. And his faithfulness, he said, is our hedge of protection. I request that my prayer request naman yung we continue to pray for one another and especially for our church that it will continue to stand na walang mga ano sa enemy jealousy or whatever bad intentions you know because we are growing uh, we we god is giving us god is prospering our church our group our hearts together and and because we are united, we love one another as <clears throat> we see our our church, our congregation. Uh, maaring maano din ng enemy. Well, kasi vulnerable tayo all the time. So that I request that we continue to pray for one another. Thank you, Tita Fe. Thank <laughs> you, po, Pastor. Okay, let's go now to uh, Sister Faith. Sister Faith, uh, any prayer requests or pray support? And then you may move on to our um, 
devotion. Uh, hello, good evening po sa lahat. Uh, Katulad din po kay Mama, praise report po yung protection. Uh, sa akin din po, pag nagko-commute po ako, kasi commute po ako pa school, pag pumapasok po ako, bus and train. So alam niyo naman po may mga nakakatakot na mga pangyayari <laughs> sa ating pagko-commute. So, blessing po talaga na ano, na yung protection po ni Lord. Especially po ngayon kasi mas maaga pong dumilim. So, hmm. paglabas ko po ng school, madilim na po eh. Madilim na po agad. So, yun yung protection po ni Lord. Uh, prayer request po, uh, ano ba? Ano din po, protection din, protection pa rin po sa ating lahat. Especially ang dami pong nangyayari sa paligid-ligid. Tsaka yung ano, uh, patuloy po na pag-iingat sa mga atid ko po sa Pilipinas. Ayan. So, tonight, to proceed na ba ako, Pastor Jeff? Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Proceed na po ako sa ano, devotion. So, yung isi-share ko po tonight is found sa, uh, na-post ko po to sa ating group chat. It's in Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 to 13. So, pero bago po tayo, bago ko po basahin yung verse, uh, manalangin po muna tayo. So, Lord, we thank you, God, for tonight. Uh, Lord, we commit to you our, our upper Zoom, our devotion, Lord. We pray, Panginoon, that you would uh, speak to us, Lord. I pray that you would Make this word, God, alive, living, and active. And I pray na, ma, na kayo po ang kumilo sa buhay namin, God. And that this would uh, help us, God, as we walk with you, as we uh, obey you, God, sa pang-araw-araw. Okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, yun po yung ano, yun po yung... Yung text po, balikan ko lang po. Philippians 4, verses... Uh, 11 to 13. So, yung napili ko pong version is amplified. So, sabi po dito, nakasulat po dito, I have learned to be content and self-sufficient through Christ, satisfied to the point where I am not disturbed or uneasy. So, regardless of my circumstances, I know how to get along and live humbly in difficult times and I also know how to enjoy abundance and live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing life, whether well-fed or going hungry, whether having an abundance or being in need. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through Him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. So, ayan. So, ito pong ano na to, ito pong uh, letter na to, letter po kasi to eh, sinulat po to ni Apostle Paul. And interestingly po, nung sinulat niya kasi to, he was in prison. So siguro, I mean, if if you would imagine yourself to be in prison, like you feel like you lack a lot of things, you lack freedom, uh, you're very restricted in your mobility, in whatever you're provided for, parang kung ano lang ibigay sa'yo, di ka pwede magreklamo, ganyan. And yet, kasi he was in prison because of sharing the gospel. So that was the reason why he was punished. And yet, ito po yung sinulat niya doon sa church in Philippi na sabi niya, ini-encourage niya kasi, una nagpapasalamat siya. Kasi prior to this, nagpapasalamat siya for their support. Pero parang pinapakita niya na, yes, sinuportahan niyo ko for, ano, financially. Yet, parang kinukommunicate niya na ultimately, ang Panginoon ang nangangala. Grateful siya, pero ultimately, parang pina- sinusulat niya sa kanila na ultimately, nakatingin siya sa Panginoon as the primary source of everything that he has or everything that he needs. And what I like about this, when he said here that, uh, I know how to get along and live humbly in difficult times. And when he said this, 
he knew what he was talking about kasi he he was really humble eh, coming from a very prominent position uh he was well educated he was well respected tapos biglang he was humble to become and to, to be persecuted he was shipwrecked and dami niyang pinagdaanan eh he he experienced hunger uh he he was beaten so parang so alam niya na how to live humbly and how to live in difficult times but at the same time he also said i also know how to enjoy abundance and live in prosperity i think it's it's parang when i was thinking about it equally important she how to live in difficult times and how to live in abundance because i think there's a passage in the bible also where we are warned na na that we tend to forget god when when we have so much when we live in plenty when pag nakukuha natin yun nakukuha natin and so much more but here he's, he's he he made that ano eh parang he made that assertion na uh yun he learned and he explained bakit sabi niya dito i can do all things through Christ who strengthens me sabi niya i can do all things everything that god has called me to do kumbaga hindi lang sinabi na i can do easy things i can do comfortable things parang he he mentioned that he can do all things everything that god has called him to do because sabi niya dito he he strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose so parang the apostle paul he men- he mentioned here that he f- find himself uh, self sufficient because of christ so kumbaga nakatingin siya sa daily grace na nanggagaling sa panginoon kaya he f- he was contented It's parang dito na nakita ko rin po dito na o oh, parang it's quite obvious ng opposite din ng contentment is covetousness. Yung parang covetousness is when we lose when we lose our contentment in Christ so that we start to crave for other things to satisfy the longings of our hearts which only God himself can provide. So um lastly po parang naalala ko lang dito yung sa Hebrews 13 verse 5 related po dito sabi uh, sabi doon na keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have kasi si, medyo related po siya dito sabi niya be content with what you have for God said I will never leave you nor forsake you so to end parang ang pinaka reflection ko po dito na when we have faith knowing that God will never leave us. God will never forsake us. Now we are all sufficient in Christ. We can experience contentment. Kumbaga, yung parang we know that even though we go through difficulty or challenges, God is the one who takes care of us and that we do not lack anything in Christ. And then and if we feel like we don't have things that we're longing for, it could only mean that may timing, pwedeng, pwedeng hindi pa timing ng Panginoon or pwedeng meron siyang mas magandang uh, nakalaan para sa atin. So, yun lang po, yung parang, kasi po, na, kasi nung dumating po ako dito sa Amerika, na-realize ko na parang isa po talaga sa parang kinokombat ng mga, parang nagkaroon lang ng eye-opener sa akin, mas naging real sa akin, yung materialism, Like, kasi pag nandito ka compared sa Pilipinas, relatively po, no, mas mabibili mo yung mga bagay dito compared pag nasa Pinas. Parang mas ma-afford mo siya kahit pa paano. So, it, I was reminded lang of yung contentment in Christ na it's not in the abundance of our possession that we find our satisfaction. And parang I was, parang napapacheck lang din ako minsan. Na, Why do I want this? Why do I desire this? Where is this desire coming from? I mean, it's not wrong to desire things, pero nare-remind lang ko ano ba yung motivation ko for having that. So, uh, yung question ko lang po, yung dalawa, na pili na lang po kayo kung anong gusto nyo pong sagutin. Una, what can you do in order to emulate Paul and live with godly contentment? Or yung second question po, share one situation in your life when you felt contented and secure despite the challenges because you know that God is with you.
So, yun lang po, Pastor Jeff. Thank you, Sister Faith. Okay, for... Uh, kung kung hindi kayo makakasagot verbally, pwede nyo isulat sa ating uh, uh, group chat. And then I will just read your yung inyong reaction. And, uh, but uh, I can also call your name para po. We can give our um, uh, point of view. Let's start with uh, Tita Josie. Good evening po, Tita Josie. May katanungan si uh, Sister Faith dito. So what can you do in order to emulate Paul and live with godly contentment? Anong pwede natin gawin para gayahin at tularan si Pablo at mamuhay ng uh, pagiging makajos at may, may, may contentment sa buhay? Or share one situation in your life when you felt contented and secure now, despite the challenges because you know that God is with you. All right, Peter Josie, good evening. Good evening po. Uh, sa akin yung nakuha ko dito sa pag-aaral natin ngayong gabi. No, hindi naman uh, pumut mga kristyano na tayo. Eh, hindi na tayo hindi na tayo magkakaroon ng ano ng mga problema, mga pagsubok. Minsan nga, kung kailan ka naging kristyano at malapit sa Panginoon, lalo pa tayong maraming Alam niyo yung marami tayong pinagdaraan ng mga ano. Pero uh, sabi nga, uh, nandyan yung ating Panginoon. Lagi hindi niya tayo iwan. Sabi nga, hindi niya tayo pababayaan ano man yung mga dumating sa atin. Uh, kasi ako noon, uh, yung bang kahit na mayroon kang mga problema, uh, na ano mo na... Um, parang ano lang parang uh, parang magaang na 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 pag uh, na, nakakaraos ka doon sa mga sitwasyon na ganun dahil nga nandiyan ang Panginoon tinutulungan niya tayo no kaya nung hindi ba nung si ano nga si Job nung sinubok hindi ba sabi nung asawa niya bakit hindi mo pa sumpain yung Dios mo sabi niya ganun di ba dahil Alam naman natin yung kwento tungkol kay Job. Tapos sabi naman ni Job sa sa bakit sa kasaganaan lang ba natin na uh, pupurihin na ating uh, ang ibig sabihin ko ay da, dapat ba sa hindi yung yung kung dumadaan tayo sa mga pagsubok natin ay, ay hindi na natin uh, pupurihin ang ating Panginoon kung kailan lang ba may kasaganaan tsaka lang tayo magpupuri sa Kanya. Yun pong ganon. Mga sitwasyon natin na ganon. Uh, sabi nga ni Pablo, sabi nga ni Pablo ay uh, doon sa binasa natin ngayon eh. Uh, naranasan niya na yung managana, magkikahos, magutom, mabusog. Alam niya na yung sekreto kung ano. At ito ay magagawa niya. Sabi niya, lahat ng ito ay magagawa ko. Dahil sa lakas na kaloob ng ating Diyos. I can do all things to Christ who strengthen us. Kapag kristyano na tayo ay meron na tayong yung bang, hindi na tayo nababalisa ba? Lagi tayong sa Panginoon na katuon na ah, alam ko kakayanin ko to sa biyay at tulong ng ating Panginoon. Yan lang po. Ay, si Sir. Thank you, Sister Josie. All right. Next would be uh, Justin. Good evening, Justin. Any uh, anything to say sa ating sharing for tonight? Go ahead. Uh, uh, there was one time where uh, I had uh, bad circumstances. I I won't go into detail, but uh, uh, it was that time where I learned that God is the only uh, is the only one 
um, who I can rely on. He's my greatest treasure. He is my portion. I realized that uh, even though things will fail me, even if I fail myself, uh, God will never fail. It's uh, It wasn't just at one time. It was several times in my life. Amen. Thank you, Justin. And I was so blessed. It's a uh, life more. Thank you, Justin. Uh, let's go now to uh, Dangawens. Good evening, Dangawens. Kuya Mani, Sister Janet. Um, what can you do in order to emulate Paul and live with godly contentment? I believe... Um, Paul has everything. He has the presence of God. And I believe he did not live with his wants, but God provided for all his needs. And in that, si Paul yata yung tent maker eh. Hindi siya naging pabigat dun sa mga uh, sinasakupan niya. He tried to raise up for everything that he needs for the ministry that God had entrusted to him. And I believe in, in that way, he fully depended, he fully depended, depend on God. So, yun lang po. Kumbaga parang sa akin, si Paul, he lives simply and he, he lived with what God had provided in him. And in that, he also had given his very best to live with what God had entrusted to him ministry, yung kanya mga pangangailangan through his tent making. So, yun po. Thank Man. you, Susan. <clears throat> Kuya Mani, anything? Okay, uh, wait, wait, wait. Nawala yung computer ko, sorry. Okay, thank you, Dangawens. Let's go now to Ate Lenden. Hi. Um, kasi sa akin, life is a challenge. To live is a challenge. So, kung meron kang blessing, break time yun. So, so sa akin, um... Basta at peace ako, no matter what happened sa paligid ko, I know that if you have peace, you have God in your God is with you. Yun lang ang ano ko. Like, if I'm, I'm at peace, I know that God is with me. Pero kung hindi ako at peace, I may mayroong pinapagawa sa akin. That's it. But the rest, everything is a challenge. Thank you, Sister Len Len. All right, let's go now to Sister Analu. Sister Analu, good evening. Um, so, uh, uh, Paul uh, sets a good example of what it's like to live with Christ. I, I, I can compare, um, I remember uh, in the early, uh, in a long time ago, in my um, darkest, deepest, deepest troubles, um, in my deepest trouble, I was really, I don't know how to express this. I really, really then felt that the, the, the embrace of, of God, um, the peace from God and his presence in my deepest um, days. And uh, I think I've shared this before, 
recently, and I'm very, very much convicted of it because now everything is going well and smooth. Although I, I'm here, I'm with Christ, but when trouble strikes, parang I'm easily rattled compared to before. And I know I need to work on uh, a lot of things more. Uh, but but that's just this is just all um coming to me. Parang napapa isip ako with this uh, Bible verse. Um, I don't I don't know if that makes sense, but that's my sharing for tonight. Thank you, Sister Anilu. Um, next would be uh Shane, brother Shane. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Pastor. Um, actually, um, Ava and um, Andra. So, what I can relate about Paul and live with Godly contentment is, among us, Sister Janet, you know, if we live by contentment, God will provide us everything, even more than our needs. And, um, but in my experience before, I always pray for whatever I want. And then um, I came to see that I don't have the sense of gratitude anymore because if one thing comes, I'm going to ask for more, which does not give me any happiness. But I thank God that he had opened my eyes and ears. So whatever I have now, I'm very contented with what I have. And um, the only thing that I'm not contented is my life of holiness. I wanted to be more holy and to be more closer to the Lord. That's the only but whatever I have more than more than my needs and praise God for that. And um also I just would like to share that as people like we conform with the world that we wanted everything. Even our friends, we complain about our friends instead of praying for them. We just don't have any contentment in life. But based on my experience, having contentment in life, that's where you will see how good God is. And in fact, it started when I started giving my 10% of my, my um, what I'm making and everything that what I'm making to the Lord. And that's where he gave me the wisdom and knowledge, the everything that he gave me um, more than anything else that I need. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Brother Shane. All right, good evening, uh, Brother Vince. Good evening, Brother Vince. Would you like to have, give your point of view? Um, I think for me, Pastor, was the time, um, I think it boot camp. Uh, I was very mentally and physically hard, but praying every day about the struggles and when I was alone and I the days I wanted to quit I think knowing that he was with me it just pushed me every day to keep going and now um I'm content with where I am and happy with where I am now <clears throat> that, that's it thank you Vince Thank okay, you. let's go to the Anastasios. Good evening, Anastasios. Aldrin and Jasmine. Good evening po. Good evening. Um, sa amin po kasi, um, what comes to mind is, ano po eh, one of the fruits of the Spirit is peace. So when you have that peace in the Lord and faith in Him, you know that uh, He is our Jehovah and the Jaira provider, um, he, he, and hindi siya nagkukulang eh. You can, di ba, di po ba, you cannot outgive God. So if you give faithfully sa yung tithes, di ba, kami po, testimony po namin ni Yasmin, ano po eh, there, there are times na, uh, nung nagkikaregiver po siya, unstable po yung job niya, 
minsan po nagpapatong-patong po yung um, yung mga bills pero we've been faithful sa aming tithes and offering uh, siya po talaga unang-una namin and then God just provides he bigla-bigla na lang po nagkakaroon ng increase or job opportunities for her yung mga eh, USD bigla po siya na-extend and then sa job ko praise the Lord po um Uh, my boss spoke to me earlier and uh, he, he tells me that in two to three weeks we have a uh, may training po kami and um, ano daw po, ma-increase daw po kami so yun po yung prayer request ko po na sana po matuloy po yung increase po namin sa work. So God is faithful and um, pero we need to ano, be, be humble na, na hindi po tayo magiging mamayabang and be ano nga po be content na uh, hindi po magsho-show off or imbis na mainggit sa iba na oh sana all lagi na lang sana all <laughs> sana all mm-hmm. ganito sana all ganyan pero we need to learn that what god gives us we need to um, ano po eh pangalagaan po kung ano po meron tayo at binigay ni Dios kasi ng Dios kasi blessing po yun from the lord so yun po yung sa amin po amen Thank you. Ikaw last meron. A copy paste daw po si Yasmin, pasta. <laughs> copy. Copy paste away. Thank you, Anastasia. Let's go now to uh, Nicole. Nicole, good evening. Hello po. Um, siguro for me, it's sometimes it's discouraging pag um, in school, Um, like, you see people that they understand concepts kaga, ng bilis ng recall. And, um, yeah, it's discouraging sometimes, but knowing that um, God is with me, and then the goal is, yung end goal naman, it provides um, contentment and security. Yeah. Thank you po. Amen. na nakaka-identify ako sa iyo dahil nung nasa Bible College din ako parang feeling ko na iiwan nila ako ah <laughs> pero ano God is good amen thank you uh, Nicole good evening Tita Fe your turn parang nakokombine ko itong dalawang questions na ito when my husband was still living Tinuturo niya sa mga anak namin, saka mga pamangkin niya, mga pinsan ganyan, um, uh, yung advantage ng being able to live na hindi masyado, yung kahit ano, yung mahirap lang, medyo, at saka yung abundance, ganyan. At saka siniset niya yung sarili niya as an example Sinasabi niyang, I know how to live na yung wala masyado, ganyan. I also know how to live na yung mayroon. Contented lang, sabing ganyan niya, because God always supplies whatever we need. So, ganun tinuturo niya. And talagang, uh, uh, totoo talaga yan. Because when we are contented and we trust the Lord, what are the needs are hindi naman tayo pinababayaan niya talaga for example sa panahon ng gera uh, i can recall yung baguhan pa kami mga evacuees doon sa sa lugar sa Jensan sa surrounding towns and cities ang mga tao ay like ano yung uh, dead live only one day at a time. Lahat-lahat yon. Kami, oo. I was probably 10 years old at the time. Karamihan ay pupunta doon sa field, sa umaga, mag-pick ng kamatis, <laughs> ganyan. Tapos, ang, ang almusal ay kanin, kamatis na may baguong. Contento lahat ang mga tao. Oo, ganon. Tapos, eh, kuminsan pa, ang kanin ay kamote ang 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 ulam ay dahon ng kamote ganyan kung minsan wala pang asin ang karamihan ng tao kasi hindi naman most people were not able really to to prepare for uh, the time na 
wala sila sa sarili nilang mga lugar, ganyan. So, yung konting dala, eh, nauubos na rin. Ganon. Kung minsan, walang bigas. Pero, yung mga farmers na mayroong, mayroong rice to harvest, sisigaw lang, sisigaw. Eh, ano, ani, bukas, sabing ganon. Tapos, mga tao, ganon niya, mag-aani, pag uwi sa hapon, mayroon silang ibibilad on the following Okay, tapos mayohin, tapos mayroon na silang bigas, lulutuin, and everybody was just like contented, yung ganon. Ako naman, as a uh, bata pa ako noon, siguro nine or ten, pero marunong na akong mag tumulong sa mga parents ko because they were, they would be out most of the time. Kasi eh, noon, panahon noon, was uh, yung business I got a uh, barter uh, not so much with the Japanese money pero majority ng ano sa negosyo noon ay barter yung mga tao sa mountains they come down they they have their harvest yung corn tapos yung mga Christians diyan sa sa city uh, ipalit nila barter nila yung mga gamot ng malaria because yung sakit noon ay malaria. Mm -hmm. So, because my parents were very godly also, uh, yung panahon na yun, every day, um, siguro more than 20 ang mga taong dumadaan in that city where we will live, you know, napatay because of malaria. But at uh, saka galing ito sa lamok, kinakagat ng lamok, magmamalaria. Especially kung mayroong taong may malaria sa, sa uh, malapit sa iyo, uh, mahahawaan ka kaagad talaga. Three days lang, magiging yelo na yung, yung tao at saka mamamatay. Kaya maraming dumadaan, binabalot lang ng kumot na ganun. But, you know, in our case, God protected us. We never got sick of malaria. Malaria. Mm -mm. Because God really has promised na kung faithful tayo sa Kanya, He will never forsake us. And whether we have plenty or almost nothing, He takes care of that. He supplies. So, ganon yung na experience ko maraming challenges noon ng panahon na yon but god takes care of people who trust him and and talagang we have been uh practicing it in our life being contented sa konti lang o marami man and then but we always thank the lord for that and paul is a big example Paul was educated, he was a lawyer, and he had money. And uh, when he gave his life to the Lord, uh, opposite na yung buhay niya, but he never complained. And he would burn his midnight candle to make tents para ipagbili niya because yung mga Israelites noon, there were no, mo, anong tawag doon? Yung nomads ba yung tawag doon? No, nomads pa, nomads. Oh, oh, nomads. They, they, they go from one place to another, and so he would burn his midnight candle, uh, to make tents out of skin of animals, and then sell them and live on whatever he gets out of that. Kulang, uh, that was a life na, na wala na wala yung abundant life niya, kasi marami siyang pera before that. I don't know. Oh, so he was contented, and so um, we were also like that. Hindi kami umiyak, hindi kami um nagko complain. Mami ko, daddy ko, wala lang because we trusted the Lord, and God was very faithful in supplying every need. And I, I, I hope you don't mind if I read to you something from the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-eight. Right, Tita. Huh? Okay. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. This is telling us that when we are obedient to the Lord and we have we put our trust in Him, you know, 
This has caught, this has made me feel today how awesome God, our God is. And so this is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, uh, I think starting with uh, uh, verse 9, when he said here, uh, when you pray, that is when we obey him, we are contented and we trust him and we love him, we're faithful to him. And this is God's declaration. When you pray, I will answer you. When you call to me, I will respond. And I will always guide you and satisfy you with good things. I will keep you strong and well. Ibig sabihin yan, ang sakit natin, I, he will heal that may and make us strong. You will be like a garden that has plenty of water, like a spring of water that never goes dry. Hindi ba maganda yun? So beautiful, really. And I had to scream today. I said, Lord, you are very awesome. And you are an awesome God. My Lord and my Master, I said, how good you are. Thank you, Lord, for being our God. So, ito, life of yung mga bata natin, we let them work. We, we don't give everything that they, they ask from us. We, we teach them how to learn with just enough, just to meet whatever they need, they need just so they will learn how to live with just... Um, yung hindi hindi sobra so na uh, develop nila ang ang um, what do you call this yung they are they are able to go through life na hindi masyadong maraming ganyan ganyan whatever so tapos kung bigyan naman ng Dios ng kayamanan because God God does that he gives it is God's will to give us wealth or uh, to give us just enough kung ano dyan. And so it, when we trust the Lord and we do our part trusting Him and learning how to live with little or abundance, God will really bless. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Tita. Para akong uh, napunta sa History Channel ah. <laughs> <laughs> para po ako nanood ng ano uh, interesado kasi ako pag uh, mga World War II na pinag-uusapan and, uh, from an eyewitness uh, point of view eh, nakaka mm -hmm. ano talaga uh, nakaka kumbaga curious alright, dumako po tayo sa ating panalangin magandang magandang gabi po uh, ilagay po natin ang ating puso at isipan sa pakikinig, pakipagniig sa Panginoon sa ating pong panalangin ngayong gabi Panginoong Ama, maraming salamat po sa tulong nyo sa lahat po ng kapangyarihan nyo na pinapakita nyo sa aming buhay. Hindi man kami karapat dapat. Eh, kami po talaga ay inyo pong uh, minahal, uh, pinatawad at patuloy pong tinuturuan sa buhay kung paano ipamuhay ang aming uh, relasyon sa inyo. Tinataas po at pinupuri namin kayo sa lahat po ng pagkakataon Uh, kayo po ang aming uh, ina-acknowledge na Lord and Savior. Kayo po ang aming King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Sa gabing ito, nais po namin umingi ng kapatawaran sa mga pagkakamali na naisip, mga kasalanan na gagawa, mga kasalanan na nasabi. Naway pagkalinisin niyo po, Panginoon, ang aming mga labi, ang aming mga puso, ang aming mga isipan. Ganyan din ang aming mga kamay at paa, Panginoon. At uh, sa pamagitan ng banal ng dugo, hugasan niyo po kami, gawin niyo po kami, make us whiter than a snow, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord God, and uh, we, 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 we just want to repent all our, all our sins, Lord God, tonight and ask for forgiveness from you. Lord, we pray that uh, uh, we, we, with, uh, with a grateful heart, with all the blessings that we receive from you, continue, continuously to uh, re re uh, uh, na re patuloy namin na re-receive sa inyo and um, Marireceive pa namin in the future na uh, talagang uh, prepare mo para sa amin. We are so thankful. Uh, we are so grateful, Panginoon, sa inyo. And Lord, uh, with all the supplication that uh, we will uh, mention tonight, we pray, Lord God, that uh, ay po ang uh, uh, magbukas ng inyong puso at uh, dinggin lahat ng aming panalangin at sagutin niyo, Panginoon, uh, with a positive intent. Panginoon, dinataas namin sa inyo ang bansang Israel. 
Talangin namin, sabi sa inyong salita, to pray for the peace of Israel. And we are praying for the peace of Israel, Panginoon. We are praying for the uh, yung mga civilians, Panginoon, na mga nadadamay, mga, uh, yung mga military nila, Panginoon, na uh, keep them safe, Panginoon. We also pray, Lord God, sa 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 mga civilians Panginoon na mga Palestinians Panginoon na wala rin namang kinalaman na nadadamay din Panginoon dalangin namin na iligtas niyo po sila dalangin namin sa mga ganitong panahon at oras ay makilala nila kayo dalangin namin din yung mga Hamas Panginoon na baguhin yung mga puso nila at naniniwala kami na hindi po wala pong matigas sa puso Panginoon pagdating sa pagkakilala sa inyo dalangin namin na matapos agad ang war sa Israel Panginoon at uh, kapayapaan nawa ang pumalit dito. We pray Lord God sa aming mga attendees sa aming simbahan. We pray for number 56 up to number 68 ang Giwa family Panginoon. We pray for Briel, ang masama po yung pakiramdam niya ngayon. Pero po siyang sore throat at si po na tubo dalangin namin Panginoon na kayo po ang magpagaling sa kanya. We pray for Job Panginoon. Thank you Lord God that uh, Uh, positive lahat ng mga in-apply niya ang trabaho na hopefully he gets a job, Lord God, as soon as possible uh, for him to learn more about life. We pray, Lord God, for Mini that you keep her safe, Lord God, sa pagmamaneho every day at, uh, at uh, pag-handle na kanyang mga sudyante, Panginoon. We also pray for uh, for Claire, Panginoon, na kayo po rin na mag, uh, uh, sa, sa pag-travel niya every day papuntang uh, LA, Panginoon, na kayo po ang magbigay, Panginoon, ng protection sa kanya, kalakasan sa pag-aaral, Panginoon, at provision sa kanyang mga pangailangan. We also pray, Lord God, for uh, Brother Rick. Salamat at nakita muli namin siya noong Sunday, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, na patuloy po silang makita, Panginoon, every Sunday, Lord. We pray for Brother Saul, Panginoon, kung nasaan man siya, Panginoon, dalangin namin na, na maging okay siya, uh, proteksyonan niyo po siya, ingatan niyo po siya, at uh, naway makita namin siya muli sa linggo, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, for Jeannie. Maraming salamat po na bless po kami sa puso ni Jeannie sa pagtulog niya, Panginoon, sa aming uh, kids ministry. At lagi po siyang uh, nandiyan, uh, kasama namin, talagang kapamilya namin, kahit minsan hindi niya kami naiintindihan, Panginoon. Pero uh, she, chooses, she, she chooses, Lord God, na... Uh, she chose Lord God na talagang uh, to stick it up with us and uh, learn with us and uh, grow with us uh, in spirituality. We pray Lord God, kina Eric, kina Tess, Panginoon, nagabayan niyo po sila, Panginoon, palagi niyo po silang ingatan, nalangin namin pagpapala sa kanila, na, naway makita namin sila muli, Panginoon, simbahan, Panginoon. We pray for bro, uh, Brother Noel, uh, Sister Dare, na Madrid family, ganun din si, si Jaja at si Nathan, We pray, Lord God, for provisions sa kanilang pamilya, uh, yeah, sa trabaho ni Noel. Ingatin niya po siya, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, na magka-work din si Sister uh, Darren sa LAUSD, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, also kay uh, Jaja uh, na pumapasok sa pang-araw-araw. Ingatan niya po. At syempre po sa newly born na si Nathan, ay palagi niya po siyang iingatan, Panginoon, na hindi po siya magkasakit at mal- malayo siya, Panginoon, sa mga Uh, uh, sa kuna, Panginoon, bilang isang baby, yung mga untog, yung mga dapa, ay ma- maidayo niya po siya, Panginoon. We're also praying for our uh, uh, LA campus, Panginoon. We pray for the English, the Spanish, the South and North Korean, Panginoon, ng mga churches na uh, pagkaisahin niyo kaming lahat kasama ng Filipino Church. Uh, bigyan niyo po kami, Panginoon, ng pagkakaisa, pagmamahalan sa isa't isa na may makita namin, Panginoon, ang perspektibo ninyo na lahat ng ito ay para sa Great Commission, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin namin Panginoon ang uh, Church of the Nazarene Leadership ang unahan Panginoon is si Sir Jasmine Sir Jasmine Yes God, thank you Lord Jesus pinataas po namin ang um, Church of the Nazarene ang aming General Superintendent God na si Busik, Crocker Chambo, Sandberg, Daniel Sarmiento Uh, District Superintendent Mark Liman, local church board, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Sister Gurley, Sister Regal, Sister LB, De La Filnes Pastoral staff, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Norbert, Pastor Bong, Pastor Ray, Pastor Rakled, and the English congregation, Joshua Tigila, Michael Mata, Dan Bayer, Pedro Torres, Angela Way. The Spanish Congregation, Juan Fajardo, Lina Fajardo, Gladys Rosales, South Korean, uh, Ki San Lee, Moon Huli, 
North Korean, Jong Wan Lee, Hai Sok Lee, and MC Bistop, Stark Cortez, Nick Maynard. Lord, itinataas ko po lahat ng mga nasa lista na ito na pabigyan niyo po sila ng provision. Lahat po ng mga plans ng bawat congregation um, na may guidance po ninyo. Uh, and also, God, um, na mas marami pa silang ma, ma, ma-save na soul, God. And also, God, um, lahat ng mga kabataan sa bawat congregation is mas dumami pa po, God. And also, God, um, bigyan niyo sila ng mag, mag, maayos na kalusugan, na walang may mga sakit po, and kung meron mo po silang dinaramdam o sa pamilya nila, God, is uh, kagalingan po para sa kanila sa uh, mula ulo hanggang paa po, God. And also, God, um, protection din po na kahit ano man po yung mga plano o yung kung saan sila pumupunta, God, ikaw naman yung ginagawa nila, God, is uh, safe sila and lahat ng mga plans, God, is manggagaling po sa inyo, God, na may guidance po ninyo, God. Maraming maraming salamat po, Lord Jesus. Maraming salamat po sa buhay ng mga uh, nasa listahan na po dito. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jasmine. Amen. And uh, for complete healing, uh, provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. Uh, Sister Josie, kindly did us for complete healing of the following people. Thank you. Hallelujah. Patuloy po kami sa diwa ng panalangin. Lord, dinadalangin po namin ang mga kapatid namin ito na nangangailangan sa iyo, Panginoon. Danilo Pagyo, complete recovery. Lord, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na uh, maging maayos po ang lahat uh, buong pangangatawan niya, Panginoon. At uh, alam po namin, Panginoon, na uh, ngayon pa lamang po, tinanggap na po niya, kagaling ang nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon. At ganun din po kay Almira, Kelly, Priel, at Feeling Well. Uh, dalangin po namin sa mga kapatidan namin na ito, Panginoon. Bigyan mo po ng kagaling ang nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw ang aming great healer, Panginoon. At uh, ipuin mo po ang kanilang mga buong pagkatao, Panginoon. Lord. At alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw ang maalam sa lahat. Kaya, at ibibigay mo po, Panginoon, ang kagaling na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon, sa mga taong ito, Panginoon. Yan din po kay Justin, may clicking on his leg, Panginoon. Lord, alam ko po, Panginoon, na tinagaling mo na po siya, Panginoon. Nakita po namin, Panginoon, na maayos na po ang kanyang paglakad. Nakakatakot na po siya, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa kagaling na pinagkaloob mo na po kay Justin. Lord, ganun din po kay Roman Giwa, ang kidney problem, Panginoon. Lord, lalapit po namin sila, sila sa iyo, Panginoon. Bigyan mo po siya ng kagalingan. Nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Alam mo po yung dinaramdam niya, Panginoon. I-provide mo po ang kandang pangangailangan, Panginoon. At ganoon din po, Panginoon. <clears throat> Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang uh, uh, magsasaayos sa kanila, Panginoon. At uh, alam po namin, Panginoon, na uh, ngayon pa lamang po, tinanggap na po niya ang kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon. Ganun din po sa uh, kay aming uh, <clears throat> red garment, Panginoon. Dati po namin di the Lord. Uh, complete healing, Lord. Kung ano man po, Panginoon, yung dinaramdam niya, Panginoon, dalangin po namin na hindi na po ito dumala, Panginoon. Bagkos bigyan mo po siya ng kagaling ang nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa kagaling ng ito, Lord. Ganun din po kay Patrick Noel. Able to walk to join the church, Lord. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na <clears throat> lahat po kami, Panginoon, ay nalalalangin sa batang ito, Panginoon. At alam mo po, Panginoon, na ganoon din po ang kanyang mga magulang, Lord. At uh, ngayon pa lamang po, Panginoon, ay uh, alam po namin, Panginoon, na may layunin ka sa pamilya ito, Panginoon. At uh, alam po namin na Soon as, Panginoon, na makikita po namin siya na nasa aming church na nakaka-attend at nakakalakad na, Panginoon. Wala yung posible sa iyo, Panginoon. Lahat ay posible sa iyo, Panginoon. Magtiwala lamang po kami sa iyo, Panginoon, at lahat ay pagkakaloob mo. Ikaw ay Diyos na mabuti, maalam sa lahat, Lord. Alam po namin na tinanggap na po lahat ng mga kapatid namin ito ang kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo. Maraming marami salamat po at ibinabalik na po namin lahat ng papuloy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Amen. Thank you, Sister Josie. Uh, <coughs> for complete healing from cancer, Sister Janet, kindly lead us in prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Godfather. We want to pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering from cancer. God, you are our great healer, Lord. We pray for a sister for Tess away for her variant cancer and for Edna Labyrinth and for breast, Cardo Madrid, lungs, Nuwa de Guzman bone, El Herradura for stomach and racial lungs. Father, we just lift them up to you, Lord. Father, we pray that you will give them the strength mm -hmm. that they need to be able to just really overcome, Lord, yung mga effect ng mga treatments ng chemo, even radiation. And the uh, Lord, the mga side effect ng mga treatment na ito, Panginoon, is, is hard. But we just come to you, Lord, tonight. Please, Lord, embrace them, comfort them, and give them, Lord, the strength that they need. And Lord, we declare healing to come upon them, Lord, from the, from the top of their heads to the very tips of their toes. Let your healing power be upon them. Father, we thank you. We entrust them unto you, knowing, oh God, now, Lord, you know the best for your people. You know the best for your children. And we just claim healing for each and every one of them. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Janet. For personal supplication, uh, we are money. Kindly lead us. Thank you. Wala po, Pastor. Nasa restroom. Sige po. Ako na lang po. Hmm. Pana, maraming salamat po Panginoon uh, dinadalangin namin Panginoon ang mga sumusunod we pray for uh, brother Aldri Panginoon na magkaroon po siya ng uh, salary increase uh, kagaya ng pinangako ng kanyang boss Panginoon we claim uh, positive result Panginoon sa sa salary increase ni brother Aldri we pray Lord God sa, na safe travel Panginoon sa lahat ng papunta at pauwi sa Pilipinas at kung saan man dako Panginoon we pray for uh, the Acostas, uh, sina Kuya Ben, sina, sina Ate Marlene, Panginoon, na pa dito sa Amerika. Si Shay, na papunta Panginoon sa Pilipinas at pabalik dito. Ganun din, Panginoon, ang mga Pagyo, sina Tita LD, Pastor Bert, si Sister Bing, Panginoon, na pabalik din dito, Panginoon. We also pray for uh, Pastor Cled, who'll be uh, traveling to uh, Indiana. Uh, we pray, Lord God, na mga, lahat ng mga members sa amin, na magta-travel, Panginoon, ay ingatan nyo, Panginoon, sa saan man sila papunta, Panginoon. We pray for uh, Giselle sa kanyang midterms exam, Lord God, na uh, flying callers, Panginoon, na makuha niya, mataas, Panginoon, at maalala niya lahat ng kanyang review, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, ang entire church namin, Panginoon, na, na ipotek niya, Panginoon, sa mga taong mapagsamantala, Panginoon, na wala pong Panginoon na ma na ma-biktima, Panginoon, ng any scammers, Panginoon, sa aming simbahan. We pray, Lord God, kay Sister Rose, mayroong uh, uh, job interview ngayong gabi, uh, new job opportunity sa kanya, Panginoon, patuloy niyo po silang pagpalain. Kagaya po ng pagpapala nila, Panginoon, na tuwing linggo sa, sa piging, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, for uh, Sister Almira na uh, makapasa, Panginoon, sa kanyang uh, DMV license sa pagkuhan niya, Panginoon. Uh, sa written and saka sa behind the wheel uh, exam, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, for Ava na ma-release po, Panginoon, yung kanyang green card, lalo na na bago po siya mag-college. We pray, Lord God, for Janelle. Uh, bigyan niyo po siya, Panginoon, ng, ng uh, strength, Lord God, ng peace at mga favor, Panginoon, sa paghahanap ng kanyang uh, uh, bagong college uh, na papasukan, Panginoon. I-guide niyo po siya, Panginoon. Naway, Panginoon, dalhin niyo po siya sa isang... Uh, uh, universidad na kung saan uh, doon niyo po siya tinawag. We pray Lord God for uh, uh, for Tita Pepo at Panginoon uh, na maidala niya pang inyong kapatid niya si Sister Sally dito uh, sa Body Pass, Panginoon. We pray Lord God for uh, Hazel uh, sa kanilang uh, student recital. Uh, uh, Panginoon, Panginoon, we pray na uh, mag uh, maging successful yung uh, recital ng mga students niya, Panginoon. We, uh, we pray for uh, Shady's case, Panginoon, na matapos na, Panginoon, and uh, uh, will in favor, Panginoon, most most lahat, Panginoon, ay para kay Shady, Panginoon. Ingatan niyo po itong bata na ito, Panginoon, at patuloy, patuloy niyo po siyang palaguin, Panginoon, sa inyong, uh, uh, sa kanyang pananampalataya. We pray, Lord God, for the district license renewal 
Ana way makapasa ako sa panel interview at ma-recommend nato ako Panginoon at ma-approve for ordination for this year Panginoon. I pray Lord God sa mga uh, upcoming weddings kina Eder, kina Jelly, kina Dennis, Mao, Shane, Almira, Steve and Michelle Panginoon. Na uh, pagpalain niyo po Panginoon ang kanilang pagsasama, kanilang marriage Panginoon. Sana natatakta Panginoon ang uh, kanilang pagpapakasal. We pray Lord God for Joshua na makuha niya yung documents sa yung green card niya Panginoon at uh, magkaroon po siya ng magandang trabaho. At magkaroon po siya, Panginoon, ng uh, place to stay, Panginoon, para po maialis po siya, Panginoon, sa streets. We pray for Lauren, for Ivan Del Rosario, for Job Lord God to be more socially adjusted, Panginoon. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. For connecting events, evangelism, discipleship, missions, uh, our prayer leader is Aldrin. Thank you, Aldrin. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for tonight. As we pray for these connecting events, evangelism, discipleship, missions, Lord. Lord, we thank you for um, your goodness and favor for each one, each family represented tonight, Lord. We pray for um, on November 12th, the dedication and birthday of Nathan Madrid. Um, give him um, health, a healthy body, Lord God. Um, bless him and his family, Lord. May he um, grow up to be a God-fearing boy, a loving boy, and uh, may he uh, bless others as he um, uh, grow up to be a, a, a good young man, and um, may he help his parents uh, and, in um, doing your ministry, Lord. And Lord, I thank you. We also pray for uh, November 24th, Thanksgiving Fellowship, Lord God. We pray that uh, People will come and attend, Lord God, and um, just to give you praise and thanks, Lord, to give you uh, gratitude and appreciation, Lord God, for all the blessings we have received for all for this year, 2023, Lord God, for your faithfulness, Lord God, to our church, to our families, and to each individual, Lord. Um, guide um, our pastors, the leadership who are planning all these events, Lord. And um, Workers' Appreciation Day on November 26, Lord, um, may more people be inspired and motivated, Lord, to do your work, to be in a ministry, to um, serve, serve you and your people, Lord God, to bless them, to um, be generous with their time, their efforts, their uh, talents, Lord God their abilities, and their finances as well, Lord, that um, your, your, your kingdom will expand, our church will continue to grow, and uh, the harvest is plenty, Lord, we know, and we, we need more workers, Lord God, and we know that you will send more, and we are going to appreciate all the current workers, Lord God, on November 26th, and on December 9, we pray for the Lord annual planning, Lord God, we pray for wisdom, we pray for um, the heart, Lord God, and the enthusiasm, Lord God. May there be excitement in our with our pastors and leadership, Lord, the board. May, may you download, give them a download of knowledge, Lord, and um, that joy to, to plan for the next year. Um, good things, Lord God, exciting times are ahead of us, Lord God, for our church as we continue to give you praise. Um, for each event that is going to be held, Lord God. Um, we also pray for the youth Christmas party, Lord God, that more uh, youth would come, Lord God. We pray for uh, the people who would plan these event, these uh, youth, this youth, youth Christmas party. May they have fun and protection, Lord God. May you protect them. Uh, may everything go smoothly, Lord, and more people, more youth will participate, Lord God, to... Um, Okay. More people with uh, more youth, Lord God, okay. will spend time and get to know you and um, have fellowship with each other and bond with each other, Lord. And Lord, we pray for uh, our church Christmas fellowship, barn dance on December 24th as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, Lord God, and um, have fun. And we pray that uh, more people will attend as well. 
and uh, we pray for the membership class on January 12, 19, and 26, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for all the new uh, members, um, all the new attendees that uh, have come to our church, Lord God, and we thank you, Lord God, that more uh, people are willing to become members and workers, Lord God, for our church, for your kingdom, Lord. And they are willing to serve you and willing to serve your people, Lord God, and the, our, our community, church community, Lord. And Lord, we pray for uh, the New Year's Eve Fellowship as we, um, um, we, as we celebrate the coming year, the new year, Lord, um, and look forward to a great beginning, um, um, a, a new year with new hope, with... Um, there may be new challenges, Lord God, but we have a uh, new found faith, Lord, and strengthened faith in you, Lord. And um, we also pray for um, the district license renewal, um, December 25th and 27th, Lord God, that um, uh, the licenses will be approved. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for um, the district license of all of the pastors, Lord God. And um, may you continue to guide them and uh, give them wisdom, Lord God, to do your work and do your ministry, Lord. Lord, we just pray that all of these plans, Lord God, um, may you may your presence be there. May you guide them, Lord. Um, guide all of us. And um, we just pray that you, only you, Lord God, would be glorified. Only you will be exalted, Lord God, that you will be the priority um, for every event, Lord. And um, we we just want to exalt you and give you praise in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Aldrin, uh, for our popcorn prayer. Anybody can start praying for whatever uh, uh, the Lord is leading you to pray for. Uh, for other supplication, and anyone can start to pray. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Lord God, um, I personally want to pray for um, our ministry, our music team, the worship, praise and worship team, Lord God, Lord, um, we thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful year. Um, we thank you for all the members of Team Papuri and Team Unlad, each family represented, Lord God, may you bless them, Lord. Lord, um, thank you for the joy of serving you, Lord, but Lord, we pray uh, please send more um, instrumentalists, more singers, more um, techies, Lord God, to help in Lord, Lord God, to expand, Lord God, and um, and um, inspire more people, Lord God, especially the youth, Lord. Lord, um, we pray for more um, young people, Lord God, who are interested to play instruments, to sing and worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth, Lord. Lord, we just want to um, prepare them and train them, Lord God, for uh, the future of um, the church and wherever um, you want to lead them, Lord God. Lord, use us, Lord God, and um, we pray that the ministry will continue to grow and um, we would all grow uh, together in uh, learning more about you and praise and worshiping you, Lord God, and leading your people um, to um, sing and uh, worship you, Lord God. And thank you, Lord God, so much. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God, for... Uh all the prayer requests, Panginoon, and all the soon-to-be pray, uh, answered prayer, Lord God. Um, allow me, Lord God, to uh, lead your people, Lord God, to be blessed by you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. amen. All right. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Namiss ka namin. Namimiss ka na namin, Pastor Bert. Magandang, magandang <laughs> hapon. Magandang hapon o gabi. <laughs> magandang gabi. hapon ata sa inyo dyan eh. Uh, opo, opo. Na. Anong oras na ba? Naning oras si? Uh, 1.30 po. Yung oras dito, 1.30. 1.30. Yeah, 1.30. Oo. So, uh, Pastor, two years ka pa daw dyan, sabi ni Sister LB. Hindi <laughs> pa po yung mga adventure eh. Uh, baka uh, nag-expense sila hanggang next week sila ako hanggang ano pa sa uh, December 5. December 5. Mm-hmm. Opo, tamang, tamang. Tamang. Hanggang kayong bola po. So, by next week. Actually, it's supposed to be ngayon sila uuwi. Hmm. Eh, kaya lang eh, itong mga der nila eh, talagang kailangan nasikasuhin talaga. Mm-hmm. Anyway, eh, enjoy your, uh, ano, your vacation. You deserve it. At uh, sa dami ng pagod mo sa simbahan natin, eh, you deserve na magpahing. <laughs> <laughs> Andiyan naman si Mark. Si Mark na pumalit sa'yo. <laughs> Hina si Mark. Si Mark na pumalit sa'yo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, mat uh, ano ha uh, mataas yung ating numero last Sunday and I, I'm looking forward mukha mataas na naman tayo this coming Sunday kasi meron na namang uh, dedication at saka birthday no so uh, yun uh, let's get ready sa this coming Sunday and also we'll see you on Friday at uh, at uh, um, ang upcoming natin ay na event ay ang workers Appre- bago mag workers appreciation na, na Sunday meron tayong Thanksgiving celebration pero Friday night yung D clusters natin doon natin gaganapin. All right, so tayo mag picture picture. Okay, game na ba kayo? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, and smile. There you go. God bless you guys. See you on Friday. Babu. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.